Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going over five steps to help you start making passive income with affiliate marketing. First, let me do a quick breakdown of what passive income within the affiliate marketing realm is. Uh, this is the act of making money without really having to do a daily active work like exchanging work hours for a salary. The strategy is essentially to do a lot of upfront work and then create a sales funnel um, and automated system to continue to bring traffic in to help keep generating commission sales kind of like on autopilot even when you're not actively working or trying to promote your affiliate product on a day-to-day -day basis. So today, I'm going to break down these five simple steps to help you create the system so you can begin generating some income yourself. If you're ready to learn, please type in affiliate marketing in the comments below and we'll get into it. If you're new to this channel, my name is Marley Spinalis. I have my own web design and online marketing company. I love to travel, hike, and I'm constantly trying to find ways to make more money. Uh, this is what I like to talk about and share tips about here. So if any of these topics interest you, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like any of the information on this channel that is shared on this video specifically today, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so I can continue to create more content like this. Okay, so the point of getting into the world of affiliate marketing is to make money, specifically commission on an ongoing basis. Now, in order for you to accomplish this, um, you will have to do step one, which is to pick a reoccurring product to promote. This means picking a subscription product, something in which the user will get billed for every month. And if you bring them in as an affiliate, you will be gaining commission on that sale for as long as they keep their subscription. If you're struggling on this step, I will share one of my favorite products to promote. Uh, I personally focus on Builderall which falls within the digital marketing niche and is a great and affordable product you can sell to business owners to help them grow their business online. Uh, they also offer a two-tier payout system. So if you get more affiliates to sign up under you, you have the possibility to gain more commission. I've added the link for it below in the description um, for you to click and learn more about. I do apologize for any noise behind me. I am in Seattle at a park with my sister and nephew. So, but let's continue this video. Now, once you find a product, you'll move on to step two, which is a very crucial step within this whole process. And that is picking a platform. By picking a platform, I mean thinking about how are you going to get your traffic to your offer, be it YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Quora, your own blog, and so forth. Personally, the best advice I can offer when starting off is to focus on free traffic. Unless you are familiar with marketing, specifically paid ads, I recommend you stay away from that right now because you will most likely burn more money than what you will actually make, which will make your affiliate marketing career journey pointless. For me, personally, it's easier to get free traffic and get results with free traffic. My personal platform of choice has become YouTube. YouTube is a great tool where you can begin planting your seeds. Every video you put out is some sort of seed to bring in new traffic to your product subscription. It is a new opportunity to offer value and showcase your face and knowledge to those who are looking to sell, uh, you're looking to sell to. Now, it is important to remember that not every piece of content is going to generate a lot of traffic or leads for that matter, but some will. So the more content you put out on a consistent basis, the higher your chances of bringing in traffic and generating leads. So picture this, you can create a strong quality video today, where a year from now, it can still be generating traffic, leads and commissions for you. That right there is a great example of passive income, where you put in an hour or two of work into creating your content. And then a year later, it's still working and making you money on a month-to-month -month basis on top of that. That is the beauty of platforms like YouTube, where it's pretty much a search engine. 
like Google, where you can get your videos ranked for certain keywords um, and they can keep gaining views from a new audience over and over again for years and years. It's a great source for you to tap into uh, th that brings in free traffic. Facebook is another one, specifically creating a Facebook group and page. This allows you to post a lot of content on a consistent basis to share with people, aka free traffic, in order um, to help you bring in more leads. The more quality your stuff is, the more traffic you will gain. Ideally, you'll want to focus on one platform where you can grow your audience um, and network on. Become a pro at it and try to grow it as fast as you can. After you pick your platform, you can move on to step three, which will get you closer to making the actual money, and that is lead generation. This is where you will create a simple sales funnel where you will provide something for free and of value to your audience. More importantly, this free thing must relate to the subscription product you are trying to sell. You should have an opt-in section so you can begin collecting emails. So essentially, um, you will be exchanging something for free and of value for their contact information. Once you're able to capture their information, uh, you can redirect them to your thank you page. Here is where you can then upsell them on step number one, your subscription product. And if they don't buy on this thank you page, you will then take them through step four, which is an email follow-up sequence. This is very important. Um, if you don't do this step, you probably won't get many sales. Because remember, we pick the platform, we are putting out valuable content. And if they want to continue to get more valuable content, like a free ebook or free trainings, they will opt in on your lead generation funnel. This is how you get those emails. So on these emails, you're going to be sending them back to your main product because this is where you want to make the sales. You're providing value to them on this platform as well um, as on your lead generation funnel. And now it's the part where you can actually start to pitch your product that, um, that is going to help them solve their, their problem. So whatever product you're promoting, make sure it's going to help them solve whatever problem they may have. Email followers can begin after two weeks of, of them first getting their free resource from the lead generation um, funnel that you initially sent them to, or even the next day. And then you can create um, an ongoing email sequence that can last the entire year if you'd like. Within that, you can continue to promote um, your, your main product, keep sending them more value, and even promote new products as well. Why not? As long as you keep providing helpful resources and value, they will remain subscribed to your email list. Um, and engage with your content. Although all these four steps are necessary and you could be doing them successfully, if you don't do number five, <laughs> you're not gonna cross that finish line and make any money. Now, step five has two parts. The first one is to repeat step two, every day or as often as possible, uh, which means posting your content and serving a value, be it on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Posting valuable content consistently is what step five is about. The second part uh, to step five is basically optimizing the rest of the steps above, meaning um, do A-B testing on your landing pages and emails, seeing what you said in the subject lines uh, and evaluating what words are capturing people's attention more, reviewing uh, your data such as landing page opt-ins, seeing what emails have the highest open rates uh, and clicks, best CTR, etc. Look at your videos and evaluate which ones have more views and why. Once you, you gather up that information, you'll want to optimize the lower performing ones to increase ROI and then continue testing on those. Um, do this on a weekly or monthly basis. You are just looking for ways to make everything convert at a higher rate. So you always want to find ways to continuously improve and make more money. Once you understand the fundamentals of this structure, what your focus on a day-to-day -day basis should be is creating new ideas to create new valuable content on your main platform and then continue to optimize. The main goal of affiliate marketing is to drive traffic and let the product do the rest. Focus on the traffic and then optimize the process of how you're driving the traffic. If you focus 80% of your time on creating new content and posting value consistently, you're going to be more successful with affiliate marketing. Don't get me wrong, 
I know that sometimes you can implement these steps in the correct manner, but you may not be getting any actual sales still, which I know is frustrating. So I made this other video that you can check out right now, which is going to tell you how you can start making sales today. So go check it out. I truly think you'll enjoy it and find it useful. Also, thank you again for watching till the end of this video. I really hope that it adds to your affiliate marketing success. Remember, please click that thumbs up on this video to let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be one of the first to see new content. Till next time.